for this video, I'm going to be talking about the Changa experience, what it feels like, my personal encounters with it, and a comparison of it to other psychedelic experiences that I've had myself. But before I get into what Changa feels like and my experiences with it, I want to talk about exactly what it is. So Changa is a hallucinogenic herbal blend that is smoked and inhaled. It usually consists of two to three herbs, um, usually being something like Blue Lotus, Damiana, Lavender, um, Mugwort, uh, just many of the common uh, non-psychoactive smokable herbs that are around. But this is not the original mixture to it. It is originally made with Harmala, which is a, com a plant that contains a high concentration of MAOIs, which is what makes the hallucinogenic component of this plant mixture um, orally active, meaning it lasts longer and it can honestly be eaten and felt in the same way. Now, aside from it being a three plant mixture, what is also added to the mixture is a DMT containing solvent and this solvent is poured onto the herbs and allowed to evaporate where it then leaves behind the DMT embedded into the herbs at a molecular level. Now if you've done any research on ayahuasca or DMT in general you may have come across uh, the idea that it's not orally active meaning if you eat it orally it, it won't work but with uh, with a combination of an MAOI to go with it, it is orally active and can last upwards of three to six hours, similar to psilocybin mushrooms. And many of the herbs that people aim to use when making this changa contain MAOIs. I believe mugwort and damiana contain uh, MAOIs, but the original mixture, like I stated, is used with a plant that contains a very high concentration of MAOIs, which is said to give the experience a much different uh, taste, I guess. So what you do with this is it's a very, it's a very um, simpler method of ingesting DMT compared to vaporizing it, uh, which takes technique and uh, a specific method that you have to kind of hone in on before you're able to get that uh, that good dose in, you know. But this changa is an herb, and once it's dried, you can smoke it like cannabis. I personally smoke it through a bong because it, it gives you a large amount of the smoke uh, filtered through water in a short amount of time. You, I assume you could do it in a bowl or any other way like that, but um, using a bong is recommended as it delivers the smoke much faster. So what you do is you just smoke this herb and it can be made with different potencies. And now, now that you kind of have an idea of what it is and how it's made um, and the psychoactive components to it, which are DMT and MAOI, um, I'm going to talk about what it feels like in comparison to the smoke DMT experience and personal experiences I've had with Changa. So when you smoke Changa, um, if you've ever smoked pure DMT before, vaporized it, um, you are going to get a very familiar feeling around the 10 to 20 second mark. And the thing with Changa is it takes a much longer time to come on. It takes uh, maybe one to two minutes to begin really taking effect and it lasts a much longer amount of time as well and when you begin to when you begin to feel this this uh, this familiar DMT feeling it um, usually usually with the smoke DMT experience it, it, it is very fast and and that stage of uh, of uh, transition where everything begins to get very quiet and uh, still it, it, it blasts you through to this other thing that's going on, but with Changa, it continues to slowly exaggerate, slowly exaggerate um, 
over a period of one to two minutes, like I said, where this feeling begins to build and um, the, uh, the aspects of this experience are much different, I have realized, in comparison to the smoke DMT experience, where you're not immediately seeing these crazy, uh, this another world in front of you in fractal patterns, and although Changa can get quite intense if you go deep enough into it, um, for me typically, it's, it's, it's usually consisted of this, uh, this slowly building, kind of breathing, billowing, um, slowly turning into a geometric uh, design with in front of your eyes. And another thing I have realized about the Changa is an infatuation with the sense, the senses. Um, you're not so much leaving this world on Changa like you do when you smoke pure DMT. Uh, it's more just an extreme stimulation in what's going on here. Uh, there is a very heavy psychedelic tone to it where there are patterns and sounds may sound very altered and your feelings are exaggerated, but what's ultimately going on is a um, you are becoming hyper aware of the reality that's going on around you and um, I remember when I was out in the woods on Changa everything I was feeling the sticks and rubbing my hands on the leaves and 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 mo watching the trees move around in the wind and then feeling that wind that moved the trees and everything was just this connected um, experience this nature this nature-esque vibe that was just everything was pumping with life and energy and um, it's not as much about uh, dissociating your consciousness and, and, and being taken into this completely abstract foreign world. It's more about realizing what your world is made of and realizing how the world around you works and how you work in it and with it, you know? And it has gotten deep for me before where where it's this breakthrough-like experience where there's this tunnel and these lights and uh, the, these, these just entity-like figures and objects, um, but it's not as direct as the smoked DMT experience where when you smoke pure DMT, it le it leaves you dumbfounded afterwards, where you're just like, what happened, you know? But the Changa experience is much more slow and drawn out, and um, it allows you could, to kind of interact with it a bit more, and kind of see what's going on, and s see how you feel about it, and see what you're feeling, and see what's changing, and um, as far as, far as uh, the overall, the overall archetype of Changa, I would, comp in comparison to the smoked DMT experience, I would say it is much more nature driven. While the smoked DMT experience seems to be much more alien, dimension like driven, where it's a, a lot more about realizing realizing where you are and what and what's going on and how you got here and and and, and things of that nature while the Changa experience is is coming to these these slow moving realizations that you are a part of this world and always have been and it's still going on the same thing that you are and um, I have I have experienced personally um, in terms of visual performance, much more slow moving. It's much more slow moving and uh, blobby. Smoked DMT is very sharp and, and direct at what it is, but Changa is like this this uh, just calm, warm presence around you that's kind of kind of uh, kind of making itself known. But like I said, you can go quite deep into the Changa experience to even break through like 
uh, realms, but I have personally never been there, and um, the the Changa mixtures that I've made myself are typically very uh, weak, where you it it would take a few hits to get uh, to that breakthrough realm. But I like I like it like that because it's this whole idea of slowing it down and being able to participate with it in a much different way and the smoked DMT experience is one thing and then the chain gay experience is another now I don't really know what I've gone over uh, this I could probably just keep repeating myself over what this experience is like in comparison to uh, pure DMT but I feel like I've gone over everything basically it's just this very it's this very homey slow moving ancestral nature like vibe while the smoke DMT is just a cannon into hyperspace whatever hyperspace may be it doesn't seem to be this so that's basically it for this video, what Changa is and what it feels like and personal experiences I've had with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back with more.